All right, this isn't a good intro. I don't know what is. What's up, babe? Hey. How we doing? Good. <laughs> hey, so we actually uh, just dropped the video, what, two days ago? Yeah. And uh, once every three weeks and then every two days. Not bad. <laughs> Our recording schedule is pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty consistent. Yeah, that's what we do here. Um, how we doing on the house? Wow, there's a thumbnail. Smile. All right, there's a thumbnail. Anyway, that's the uh, most YouTuber part of being a YouTuber that we try to do. Um, update, what are we doing, dude? We're gonna go look inside the house. There's cabinets, which I don't think we've shown. Whoa, whoa, time out. I was gonna say, give them an update. It's been three weeks. It went from what did we show them last? framing and insulation around. to full-blown full drywall. Full blown drywall. And cabinets now, and we had our one of the carpentry meetings yesterday. Yeah, Yuri and Ryan, and they're awesome. They're great dudes. Look, the, your cedar is in on top of your roof up, up here. Wow. All right, ready to go inside? Yep. Okay, there you go. All right, so before we jump into it too far, what is all this? Is that our front pillars and steps? Supposedly. <laughs> Sometimes coming through your own custom home build, it's a day in the life of, what are we building again? <laughs> that should be the title of this video. Um, because architecture plans versus reality, sometimes you just don't get the size, the scope, the finish, uh, material selections even, like this box, I have no idea what that is. I'm assuming it's gonna be a pillar. Sure. <laughs> Do you ever feel like that, by the way? Like I have no idea what we're building. Sometimes. All the time. All the time. All the time. Uh, any which way. This, so this looks really good. Let me show you guys this. You can see the uh, cedar up top, right? Whoa! With it together, and then uh, this is underneath, and then over here there will be a uh, hanging swing, just on this side. So there you go. All right. Um, let's go jump inside. I'm following you, babe. Whoa. Look like a house now. Holy cow. I know. I think this is trim. And then Brian's office cabinet. Do you want to show this? Uh, yeah, sure. Wow. Seriously, it's been three plus weeks and it's like an entirely different house. Every time we come in here, there's something new. Right. Which is really cool. Look at all this. It's all drywalled. What are you thinking about the cabinet so far? I love the color. So we are doing, I was very unsure because we went back and forth on the color a couple times. And I really like the color we picked. Yeah. I was kind of unsure it was going to be too blue, to be honest, but. Well, you wanted more of a gray blue. I wanted a more bold, brighter kind of like a. Like a blue suit blue. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, it's pretty cool. And then uh, there's a spot in the middle that will have uh, some more shelving. My uh, bear painting. Psychedelic bear. Yeah, my psychedelic bear that I wanted from Utah. But whole nother conversation for a whole nother time. Um, wow, look at the drywall though. It looks so good. I'm telling you folks, entirely different house. All right, so grandma is taking care of baby. Baby Emmy. There we go. Usually there's lights on in here. All right. Whoa. All right, so you guys can see the whole living room. Whoa. That's crazy. Wow. Look at the island, bro. That's probably about as good as light as I have. It is such a cloudy, dismal day in Michigan. It always... I've, I haven't seen this before, so this is huge. Yeah. Because you still have... It still comes out. Wow. Is that cool or what? That is awesome. Look at that beautiful white oak. Are you liking it? That was worth it, but yeah. Yeah. With the white cabinets, I think it'll look really good. Gold wow. hardware. Take Just it imagine, over there, dude. Like, the gold of the sink. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, you know, doing dishes, dishwasher. Two dishwashers. What do you think about the double dishwasher? I am so I am so ready to have a dishwasher. Oh my god. <laughs> it's only been like three weeks. The modern. Uh, Amenities. Yes. Right. And we'll have two. There you go. So this will be a kitchen island. I think it's like, what is it, four by nine or five by nine, five by ten? I honestly don't know. I see you. I see you. And then look at your cabinets hanging up on the wall. What do you think, Liz? I love it. I want to see the laundry room. Laundry room? I'm following you. You got some wood? 
Sorry for the lighting, guys. We don't have any lights on in here. And then again, it is a cloudy day in Michigan, as usual. Whoa. Whoa. Let me get you on the other side so I can get some light. Whoa. It looks so good. Yeah. I, I wish it was brighter so you guys could see just how pretty the cabinet color is. What is it, like a blue or a green? It's like a powdery blue gray. Yeah. Let's call it. It's really pretty. There you go. Wow. They this did. room's basically almost done. Almost done. They, did. they work fast in here. Wow. And then give everybody the layout. What, what are we looking at? So, so this will be my desk. Yep. And this will have a giant farmhouse sink right here. And countertops. We'll have a space for hanging things above the washer and dryer. As long as, along with some um, shelving. So this uh, curved piece here is the trim piece that kind of caps it all together. Mm -hmm. And in between there, we'll have a gold bar spanning so you can hang stuff. Okay. And then washer or washer dryer. And we did speed clean, so they're top load instead of front load. So that's why we don't have them like there you go. stacked or something. There you go. That's beautiful. Well, and there's even the camper. Oh, there you go. That's now, cool. is this going all the way for a ceiling? I forget. Yes. So we, all of our cabinets, I've tried to make sure go all the way to the ceiling so that there's no dust collecting. Um, so you can see the cabinets don't themselves actually go all the way. You get a trim piece that fits in there that'll take it to the ceiling that'll match the trim in the rest of the room. Mm. So that'll be really cool. Yeah. It's one of my favorite like features with the cabinets is making sure that they go all the way up. <laughs> yeah, we did, will not want any dust up there and anybody who's ever had a cat, you know, the cat always gets stuck up there. We don't have a cat now, but. Yeah, I'm not doing it. And then we are mirroring, so we didn't do cabinets in the mud hole out here because honestly, it's just so freaking expensive. Mm. But they're mirroring the same look of them, same color and everything out in the mud area, so. You wanna go check that out? It's a little dark, I don't know. Yeah. Sorry folks, this is what you get in Michigan. <laughs> Anybody wants to turn on the sun. It's probably too dark, but I can uh, turn on my flashlight. Oh, there you go. You can see, this is the layout of the drop zone. So when you walk in, that's funny. it'll have floor to ceiling, like this will be recessed back a little, but countertop cabinets, countertop cabinets. It'll be open shelving here. Drop zone area for Brian to drop, you know, hats and keys and stuff like that. And then on the other wall, this way. Oh, this way? Yep. This is where we'll have locker, locker, and a bench in between with um, hooks for storage. Uh, we're doing shiplap behind, just like we did on that wall, and then room for baskets for shoes. These will open, open, and you can hang stuff inside. I didn't want a whole lot of exposed hanging. Right. Because I don't want to see all of the clutter. Yeah, we don't like visible clutter. And then right here, bottle fill station. So I think it'll make it a lot easier, you know, if you're coming, going, whatever. There's water bottle fill station here. Grab your stuff coming in from the house. Kick your muddy clothes off here. Fill your bottle, take it into the house. We like to make sure we drink all of our water. There you go. So. Healthy habits. Uh, I'm following you. You want to go down the. This uh, is my favorite. I was going to say, this came together really well. This is my favorite. Like, how wow. pretty. So they'll put, again, the trim up to the ceiling. Okay. And then this will have. I'm thinking we aren't gonna do tile here, but we're gonna do a backsplash kind of like we will with just a slab. So it's flat, easy to clean, no grout lines. And then this is where my coffee pot will live. So it's really nice in the morning because I got to walk through the house in the morning three days ago, I think, two days ago. Yeah. And I could see like the morning light was just flooding in here through the circular window and through like the dining window. And this corridor is my one of my favorite spots in the whole house because of the double radius that you have happening here, along with the really deep one here. So this view just looked so dreamy to me. It's something I've pictured for a really long time and to like see it actually coming together in real life has been pretty cool. And walking through, like actually holding my coffee was like, oh, it was so neat. That is awesome. Uh, real quick, tell me about the uh, conversation with Gary and uh, Ryan um, with the carpentry. So that's called trim and carpentry. And basically they can do anything you want, of course. It, just it felt like being on HGTV because we're like walking through the rooms, like our pantry is just around the corner here. And they're like, okay, so what are you thinking here? Like we drew some stuff on the wall of, again, I'm probably gonna have to use my 
Do we have some lights? Oh, yeah, we have. So this was with Andy, Shelby, Gary, and ourselves, and then they had a Dropbox of probably about 50 photos. Yeah. And you get to decide, like, what do you want it to look like? And they just sketch some rough ideas. Yep, so we'll have cabinets, closed, some countertop. And this is where all of my appliances will live, so like the toaster and stuff like that. I don't want things in the count on the counters in the kitchen. We have a huge amount of counter space because of the island, but not a lot of space for like a blender and things like that. So I wanted those all in here. All right, one thing I want to take you guys on a little tour. Baby was kind of waking up, so I just want to show you guys the closets. It's all drywalled. Look at this. This is kind of a smaller room. Smaller closet, but uh, you know, works for us. We don't need something super massive. But what was really cool is like that says hang bar. You can see maybe the sketch on the wall, right? All the different uh, things that we're trying to sketch out. I don't know if that's showing up on camera very well, but you can see a light sketch with where the trim guys and the carpenters are going to add shelves right and this is Liz's vanity so it's really cool seeing them uh, build the, the dream and you know like hat hangers and some other hangers down here whoa this will be paneled paneled both arches all right, so we're in the master. Whoa. There's, the light's really good in here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, on a cloudy day. They already have some trim up on the window. Oh, like, show me. I mean, it's just a piece, but look how cool. Well, there you go. Wow. I'm really glad that we went with this and not the flat with the flat. I yeah. think this just fits the whole vibe of the house better, kind of being more traditional, um, not so modern. That's cool. She loves hearing her echo, which is great for crew to sleep. <laughs> Leave it, Pete, please. Leave it. Leave it. No. Come on. Hey, mommy said no. Thank. Good listen. Good listen. All right, go. Hey, really quick, Liz. The aesthetic in here. Yes. What did you want for the aesthetic? I, I don't know. Send you a photo. We actually, this is one of the drawings that we did. One of the rooms I'm kind of most excited about. I think I said this in a prior video that this is the room I'm being really selfish with because I really grabbed all of the natural light and then, you know, spent a little money putting the fireplace in here. But like, I want this to be a retreat. That's why it's kind of tucked away a little bit off the main footpath of the house. But this is our ceiling. So kind of imagine that this is the beam that goes right over where the peak peaks right here. Mm -hmm. And then you have like two rib pieces kind of going along the width of the room. And then we're gonna do shiplap across it. So these will be stained uh, white oak, just like our floor. Um, we'll have really, really nice stone that we really thought about using on the outside of the house, to be honest, but it didn't have enough contrast with the light color of our house. But this is the perfect place to put it inside. And then a nice chunky um, white oak mantle here and i'll have you insert a photo maybe somewhere around here but it is going to be so dreamy i'm so excited with like very light fluffy white cloudy bed some chunky knits and then some gold um chandelier like a gold chandelier and then we have spots for two sconces on either side of the bed with some nice billowy curtains it's going to feel so cozy but like light and airy at the same time and i can only imagine in the winter like we really worked on the placement of this fireplace, making sure that you could still see it when you're laying in bed. And then the view I'm picturing in my mind is winter morning, you know, Brian just gets back from snow maybe, all the kids and us are in bed, you have the fire on, and like you look out the window and then there's like deer in the snow or something. That's like my ultimate like vision for this room. And then in the summer, it's a very flexible, seasonally flexible room because of the lightness and brightness of it. I think it'll, tr that's my biggest thing with the design work in this house is I wanna make sure that it works for all seasons. I don't wanna make something overly cozy and in the summer it feels like a log cabin. You know right. what I mean? Or too coastal. Yeah, or and too, it's like yeah. feeling cold in the winter. Like, yep. so trying to make it seasonally flexible, which I don't even know if that's a thing or if it's just my. Yeah, no, that's awesome. 
What, dude? What? One more time. What do you say? It looks like a kitchen. Uh, I know. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hey, uh, I want to go check out what Chris and the guys were doing. Look at that really quick through the window. I am going to be in love with this backspace. Let's go check that out. All right. So, where are we at, bud? So. Kind of hopscotch around a little bit on this. I think we might have goofed up, but we're not sure yet because sometimes stuff looks like it's goofed up and it's not. And then we talked to Andy and he's like, no, you guys are dumb. He doesn't say that, but... <laughs> probably thinks that that's aggressive but our kitchen island looking at this space we originally had the kitchen island like turned so that it was long ways this way do you know what i mean 90 degrees 90 degrees and then we expanded everything so that the line of sight was symmetrical from the fireplace to the arch to the sink to the range and then we i think we might have this giant dead space right yeah. here but it doesn't look like that on the plans like it, this space didn't look as big on the plans as it is right now so i'm wondering like there's legs that go here that the countertop goes on but i don't know how deep it is like i need to figure this out otherwise we're talking about maybe making the kitchen island come out a little further because like this is a lot of so it doesn't i don't know if it translates on camera but this right here all it's the way huge. over it's a good five feet like you could fit a table here yeah like, and i think based on this is 59 inches from this all the way over and then you get another 12 18 inches of overhang if that's the case then we still have four feet to the arch and that can be know, pretty awkward stools, it won't look so weird maybe we you know honestly with the stools maybe that is the maybe that's like the cabinet or the counter ends here and then stools then that would be fine but i need to figure out we don't have a tape measure in here, go figure. I have one in the camper, but we need to figure this out, essentially. I'm a little, not worried yet, but. What is the, what is Andy and Shelby and Mike always keep saying? Well, you could. No, <laughs> no that's <laughs> okay. one of them. Uh, that's five grand is number two, uh, or trust the process. Yeah. Trust the process, they keep saying, trust the process. There's been a couple of things where I'm like, whoa, what are they doing? In or fact, the front steps with Chris just now, he helped us with the columns. So the columns, we thought, I thought originally this morning, I was like, oh wow, it's a rain day, they're making the flower boxes because they're making these giant boxes. And then they put them on the columns on the porch. I'm like, what they're are all they off -center. doing? They're all off-centered. And I'm like, no, they're definitely gonna put like, make the post bigger, but like, I couldn't really work, like I kind of knew what they were doing, but couldn't like figure it out in my brain. So then we talked to them and I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Makes a lot more sense than what it looked like you were doing. Yeah, well, they're gonna well, double. Go figure. Up. They're the professionals, right? Yeah. So. All right, let's go check that outside really quick. Yeah, the outdoor covered area. Following you. All right, so we're in the back, and they did the columns back here too. Yeah. So he was explaining, this is going to be stone, limestone, and then this, these columns will essentially be the whole big thing, and then you get like an overhang of like four total inches of limestone between the column and the base. So it'll look nice. It'll look, they're really nice, big columns. To I didn't scale. how big they are. Yeah, they are to scale. Yeah. But at first we were both freaking out. Like, what are they, what's going on? <laughs> Could you imagine if Andy and Mike took every phone call that I gave them? That's why we stopped calling them. That's why they stopped taking they my call. <laughs> what do we say, we're, we're good one call a day? That's all you get. I get one call a week with Mike and one call a day with Andy. Thankfully we aren't those people necessarily. I could see some people getting very uh, attached, but we're like, hey, whatever, man, whatever. How you lose a boot? Look at these. What is this? These are my muck boots. M muck boots? They're getting mucky. They can send uh, all <laughs> sponsored video. These are just the gardening muck boots. So I was like, oh, after the build, I can use them for gardening. These things are already shot. These aren't going to make it through. <laughs> yeah. Shout out if well, they want to send a grand, uh, a five grand check for the, for the shout out, you know? This looks so good. Yeah, right. Cool. Dude, look at you sliding around, bro. Look at that booty. Look, all right. there's mantle. All right, let me hold on. Relax. The camera doesn't hurry, work as hurry, fast hurry, as you. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's going somewhere. It's a moving house. Wow, that, that looks, looks really good. beautiful. Look at that. They already uh, cut those holes too for the uh, the lights and the speakers. That's pretty awesome. What do you think about that? I cannot wait to pretty... sit out here. We were just talking about how cool it would be the same time next year. You know, on these like really cool, chill, crisp fall days to have the fire going kids are kind of playing on those like sunny parts of Michigan that we don't ever seem to have anymore and just like <laughs> hanging like out like here yeah. just sounds amazing yeah yeah uh so that's the uh cedar up top now we're still debating whether or not we stain it paint it or just uh seal it I think is what Chris was suggesting even you can always do that 
or uh, he was, I was asking, because I like how the cedar pieces on the outside of the house look right now, mm -hmm. that they're wet. And he said linseed oil okay. will give it that look. And then I don't know if you seal after oil. I don't feel like, yeah. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you guys might be able to see the, uh, was it the mantle up there? That looks pretty sweet. Uh, just these little micro adjustments and improvements and additions. They got the soffit up there for the box. You guys can probably see. That's for uh, the roller screens. All right. Hope to not lose you guys going through all this. I know it's kind of hopscotching around. And then look at these boxes over here, Liz, uh, behind you. So these are double columns. Yes. So that's why these look so massive. <laughs> because they are. Um, I don't want to fall. Seriously, don't. So these are like wider than I am. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but these are double columns. And we're putting like a little four inch piece of wood that'll be painted, but it recessed into the column. So you don't really see it to give the effect of a double column, but closing it off because we are putting the screens down. So we want to be obviously be able to close it. That kind of defeats the purpose of the screen if you have a four inch gap here to let bugs through. Right. So massive. Airtight. Airtight. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Look at this mud, bro. I you know. Wow. Check this out. This is exactly what every job site is going to look like through winter, especially in Michigan. I love this secretly. Like, I'm not, I don't know, I've never, as an adult, gotten to like be out in my own yard before. And I'm like, this is my dirt. It's yeah. so cool. There you go. Hey, what do you think about those lines back there, by the way? These look so good. Brian cut these in the dark. <laughs> and they're very straight for being cut in the dark. I'm pretty impressed. So if you're trying to impress me, you did. Well, I uh, started mowing back there and I got to this back area at dusk and I had to double cut because it hadn't been mowed in about a month. And then I had the background for my lawnmower and uh, I was vacuuming up all the leaves. You guys can see the whole leaf line, it's caked back there. But um, I was getting about two or three passes and I had to dump the leaves. So it was quite a bit, but I did it. I was literally yeah. mowing at dark till about 6.30 at night. Okay, doesn't that, that, that cupola in copper looks good. If this house is white, the copper cupola looks good. It doesn't look bad. I, know. I just don't want to have a copper anything in my house. I don't like the copper. Brian doesn't like the copper, but I think copper would look good. But I, we will do black so it matches the barn. Yeah, if if you do copper on the cupola, you got to do copper on the barn. And that ain't happening. Something like that. I'm not doing it. All right. I think that's where we're going to wrap up the vlog because uh, we've been hopscotching around. Uh, there's your six month update. Um, things are going well. Things are going well. Uh, any thoughts you want to leave these guys while we got you? I'm just, I don't know. It's really, I keep saying this, it's real to see it all come together, but like seeing it in real life, like I think we did a really good job. The team that we have did a really good job helping us put a lot of character into this house for a new construction. I think there's a lot of depth and different elements so that it doesn't look like just a big box on our property. It looks like it should be here. And yeah. I'm so excited to see it being coming together. I think it's so fun. Yeah. The and I love living here. And I, and I like the focal points. They're really coming together how we hope that they would. Yeah. Um, and hopefully even more in the future. And we're just getting started. All right. Over now. Over now. All right. Peace out, Cub Scout. See you guys. Bye.